As puzzlers, we can get stuck in a rut and do the same type of brands and same type of images. But this year I've been trying to focus on doing some new brands that I've never experienced before. In this video, I will share with you some of those new to me brands that I have been working on lately. Hi, I'm Sandra, the Puzzling Canadian, and welcome to my channel. This year I have set out some puzzling goals for myself. If you haven't seen that video yet, I'll attach the link down below. But one of those goals was to try some new puzzle brands. And what I mean by new puzzle brands are new brands to me. These brands may have been out in the market for quite some time, but I have not yet experienced them. So I really wanted to focus on uh, trying some of these new brands. I decided to make a list of uh, the brand names so that I can stay focused and, and know what to pick up when I go out shopping for puzzles or in trades. So I started working on a few and I wanted to share with you some of those new to me brands that I have completed over the last few months and give you my feedback. So I kicked off the year working on a puzzle called California by Water and Wines. Now I've been wanting to work on this brand for some time now and I was fortunate enough to find this puzzle at a thrift store and I picked it up right away. So my experience with this puzzle is just wonderful. I had a great time working on this puzzle. I loved the pieces. The pieces have that velvety uh, touch and finish to it. So that right away was a bonus. And then the colors were very vivid. Uh, I liked uh, how they displayed the image, so much information. It was just an enjoyable puzzle all around. I was impressed by the box. It had more information about the wines of California. So I really liked it. The only thing that keeps me coming back or, or hindering me from going back and buying another puzzle is the price. Because if I want to buy a brand new Water & Wines puzzle, it'll cost me $65 Canadian on their website. So if you're able to get this at a thrift store or through a trade, I would recommend it because it is a very good quality puzzle. However, the price is quite expensive. So the next puzzle that I worked on that was new to me was this here by Graphica. Now, Graphica puzzles have been around for a while. I just haven't had the opportunity to work on it. So I started with this one here called Windows on Paradise. It's 500 pieces and I enjoyed this one. I like anything with the beach scene and I really like their pieces the quality, it just came together very nicely. And I definitely will probably go back and do another Graphica puzzle. I actually have one that I ended up getting for Christmas, a 3000 piece puzzle. So I'm happy I have that one in my pile. And they have a wide variety of images, travel images, collage, uh, art puzzles. Um, they even have a 48,000 piece puzzle that I think is called Travel Around the World. But um, you can find a lot of those art puzzles. If you notice there was a, um, a puzzle behind me that I had, and I'll show it to you here. It's called, it's a hay puzzle that I did and it's called Reading. However, I've had a few viewers ask me about this puzzle. If you want, this image is actually available in a Graphica puzzle, thousand pieces, and I think it's called The Darkest Hour. Now I do find that there is, let me just put this down. I do find that there is more variety in Europe. There's a website called Jigsaw Puzzles UK. I'll attach the link down below. I've shopped from them before. If you take a look, that's where you'll find that puzzle called The Darkest Hour and they have a wide they have a lot more variety on that website than I think the North American website. But I definitely like Graphica puzzles. They are uh, a French brand and I will definitely buy some more because I like the variety of images they provide. So the next new to me brand that I tried was Yaz Puzzle and the image that I worked on was this one right here. So Yaz Puzzle is a Turkish brand. Um, they're available at uh, Puzzles Canada and every time I go into the store I'd see it and I just like I have to give this a try because look at the colors in this image. I wasn't sure if this would be difficult. I was a little bit worried about it but once I start working on it the colors just all came together. It's just was very enjoyable. I love the quality of the pieces. It had a soft finish to it, a matte finish also. It just felt very nice when uh, working with these pieces. It is a square puzzle. So I think it says it's 60 by 60 centimeters. So it turns out to be a square puzzle and I would highly recommend this. I enjoyed this one so much that you can see right here, I had to glue it. I could not take it apart. It was so 
beautiful. The hardest part was the hair section right here, um, but I just took my time and it all came together nicely. In March, I ended up working on this puzzle here by a brand called Happily. Now, Happily is, I believe, a UK brand, and I found this puzzle at The Puzzle Nerds. They carry this brand, and they have some nice images. They usually do them like in grids or collage type uh, puzzles. Um, I picked this one out specifically because it um, worked for a puzzle along that I was doing in March called Pieces of the Pie, Pieces of Pie Puzzle Along. So I enjoyed it. The quality of the pieces were good. Um, they came together nicely. I would say the only thing with this brand is the false fits. So I'm not sure if I will, if I do it again, because false fits are very frustrating and it didn't happen just once or twice. You know, you would think that the white section, there would be more false fits, but no, I found false fits throughout, even in, in the color sections. So next up is enjoy puzzles. And I worked on this image right here. Now this is not a normal image that I work on and I purposely purchased it because I wanted to do something a little bit different and I wanted to experience this brand. So I picked up this one here. I think it's called Sweet Treats and I had a fun time working on it. I have to say I was getting hungry working on this puzzle because of all the sweet treats, but the uh, pieces, excellent pieces nice soft touch to them matte finish i found this brand very similar to yaz puzzles i would have to say they are very comparable brands good quality uh, great packaging a variety of different images i did enjoy this one i didn't find anything like wrong with it i actually uh, liked it quite a bit just like i did with the yaz puzzles now this next brand was recommended to me by the owner at the puzzle nerds so i decided i'm going to give it a try the brand is called paper blanks and here's the image i think it's called tropical garden that i worked on i have to say the minute i opened up this box and saw them and dumped the pieces the first thing i said was wow look at those pieces they have a little shimmer to it not all the pieces but a variety of pieces would have like a glittery shimmer to it to add to this image and it was impressive i really liked that and it felt very nice it had that velvety touch just like the water and wines puzzle um, so i enjoyed it good quality sturdy pieces i started to work on this puzzle and it took me a little bit longer to work on so um, it's it's not an easy puzzle and if you take a look at all their images they are quite challenging images for this brand but the price is very good i'm not sure which company who makes it i think it's a u.s brand but the, it's priced very good um, for this type of puzzle especially since the quality of the pieces are excellent so those are the ones that I have completed, but currently I am also working on another new to me brand called Genuine Fred. And this one is called Explorer. So um, I'm just about halfway maybe done the puzzle. And uh, I like the image. It's very beautiful, a lot of nice colors. It's a little bit challenging because there's a lot of detail in the, in the pieces and I've left this to the very end. The one thing that I did notice, and I'm not sure if this is just my puzzle, um, I have noticed damaged pieces. There's at least three damaged pieces where they're folded upwards or kind of bent. So I don't know if it's just this production run or if that's what happens with this brand. Maybe if you've done this brand, you can let me know if you've experienced it. It could be just a one-off. like That usually sometimes happens when they're manufacturing these puzzles. But this is the one that's currently on my table right now. So there you have it. Those are some of the new to me brands that I have worked on this year. I'm glad I got them on my puzzling table. But now the real question is, which one is my favorite? And it was a difficult choice. There were some really good quality puzzles. But if I had to pick um, which was my favorite, I would say it's the Yaz Puzzle brand. I really did enjoy the quality of the puzzles along with the image. 
is what made this brand stand out. I loved it so much that I went back to Puzzles Canada and got a new one. Let me show you what I picked out. I picked out this one here called Sacred Cacao. So I'm very impressed by this brand. I loved it and I probably might end up getting more. As you can see here, they have a lot more colorful images um, in that series there. I'd love to know what you think about the new to me brands that I have recently completed. Have you done those brands before? What are your thoughts about those brands? Or which brand would you pick as your favorite if you had the opportunity? Please leave a comment down below. Thank you for taking the time to stop by my channel and viewing this video. I really appreciate it. Now I have that genuine Fred puzzle that I need to complete. So until next time, happy puzzling.